Hey guys, so today I did a tutorial and I recreated this look on Monica Cruz. It is a ad, um, Monica Cruz by Techno Marine. Um, it's an ad for watches and this look just really caught my eye. I thought she looked stunning. Her eyes just look so alluring and smoky and I looked close and it kind of, um, it's mainly focused around the lash line and it has a hint of purple in it. And I love these kind of smoky eyes. They're really easy and they're really simple to do. The darkness is focused around the lashes. Instead of doing like a light color on your lid and a dark color in the crease, um, kind of smoky eye, this is a very modern look where it's just focused around the lashes and I think it looks so flattering and it's a very wearable smoky eye. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, um, just keep watching because I thought this was a very unique um, smoky eye even though I've done a lot of smoky eyes I love this one and it's super simple I only used a few um, eyeshadows so if you guys want to see how to get this look just keep watching okay so I'm just gonna start off with my Urban Decay primer potion all over my eyelid and also on the lower lash line okay so the first color I'm taking is satin taupe from Mac and it's a really pretty taupey purpley brown Okay, so I'm just gonna pack this color all over my lid. Okay, so now that we have our base color down, I'm just gonna be taking a fluffy um, blending brush and blending it out so we don't have a harsh line. Then I'm gonna go into my Naked 2 palette and I'm gonna be taking the color Tease and this is a matte, um, kind of plummy light brown. And I'm just going to be using this to blend out the satin taupe because it's kind of the same um, color family as satin taupe is. It's like a taupey purple. So I'm just going to be putting this lightly in the crease and just blending out this color. Because with this look, we want like a kind of a smoky look, but we don't want to color uh, concentrate the color around the crease. It's going to be mainly towards the lash line and fading up. So. I'm just going to really blend this out. Okay, so this look is super duper easy. I'm going to be going into Busted. And this is like a dark, um, purpley um, eggplant brown. And I'm going to take this on a on the tip of a flat shader brush. I'm going to be working this color in my lash line. We're going to have a different color eyeliner going on, so this is just going to build up a little bit of a smoky background for that color. You can kind of bring it out on the outer corner a little bit. Next I'm going to take the Stila Smudge Stick in Purple Tang. And this is a really pretty dark purple and it kind of has a bright metallic sheen to it. So here's a swatch of it. It's a gorgeous eyeliner. It looks like a dark purple but when you uh, turn your eye or your hand it has this really pretty bright flash to it and her eyeliner is very dark around her eyes but it kind of has a really pretty um, bluish purpley sheen coming through and this is kind of like this eyeliner so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a very um, thick line on the upper lash line it doesn't have to be precise so I can't really talk while I'm putting on eyeliner so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll um, show you how I'm going to smudge it out Then I'm going to take a Q-tip and really smudge it. And I'm smudging it first to get that like smoky purple look. And then I'm going to go back in and add a little more to get that sheen again. And I love it because you can wear it um, with like a smoky look like this. And it just adds that little pop of color coming through. Or you can wear it on its own and it's so pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit more of that busted color and I'm just going to diffuse this line because it's a lot harsher than I want right now. Because I really don't want there to be like a super definite line. I want it to be nice and blended. And then what I'm actually going to do, this is completely optional. 
Hers looks like it just has kind of a little bit of sheen, more sheen right on top of it. So I'm going to go ahead and take this NYX eyeshadow in Luxor. And it's a lot like Max uh, Stars and Rockets. And I'm just going to take a little bit on an eyeliner brush. Tiny, tiny bit because you don't want to turn this into a bright purple look. I'm just going to press this right a little bit on top of that. And it just adds a tiny bit of purple. Next, I'm going to take that same purple and I'm going to line my lower lashes. And then I'm going to take a Q-tip again and smudge it out because we don't want a harsh line on the bottom especially. So I'm going to go back into Satin Taupe, the color we put on our eyelid, and I'm going to smudge um, kind of on the outer parts of this liner. So I'm just going to go into Busted, that dark color that we put um, on the top, and I'm going to smudge this into the outer corner. Okay, so next I'm going to take a black eyeliner. This is the Urban Decay Perversion, and I'm going to line my waterline, and I'm going to line it all the way almost to the inner corner because hers comes in very far. So I'm just going to press down slightly and line the whole inner rim. I'm also going to pull up and line my tight line. And I'm going to get right in this inner part. Okay, so I just curled my eyelashes and I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara. I'm going to be using the Maybelline one by one in Waterproof. And her eyelashes aren't super dramatic except on the outer corner. So we're going to add a little bit of individual lashes after this. But just go ahead and apply a coat of mascara. So I think I'm just going to be adding um, two or three on the outer corner. Um, just to about here, just to accentuate that. Okay, so this glue is going to dry clear. Um, we just have it about three, and this one actually looks a little longer, but hers kind of is too, but you don't have to be that exact. So just do about three. This is the Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Eyeshadow in Brulee, and it is so pigmented. I like it even better than Foxy in the Naked Palette because it's so pigmented. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush and just highlight underneath the brow bone. Okay, so here are the finished eyes. I went ahead and did the other eye and put my false lashes on here and cleaned up with concealer. So it's just this really pretty soft, kind of smoky, uh, taupey, purpley, smoky eye, and it focuses the darkness right at the lash line. The darkness doesn't come up in the crease at all, and it's very wearable. It's dark, but it's still very wearable and I think it's very modern how that purple, that shine of that purple just peaks at the lash line. So I love this and um, so for my blush I use NYX's Peach and her cheeks are just kind of a warm peachy color they're, but they're not too um, strong. It doesn't really look like she's wearing blush. There's just like a nice peachy glow to her face. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and put this kind of on the back part of the apple of the cheek. So you can blend it down into the apple, but focus the color higher up. Okay, and then for my lips, I wanted to do a really pretty peachy pink like she has. So first I'm gonna be taking my Revlon lipstick, and this is in 75 Peach. And it's a really pretty medium peachy pink. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this all over my lips and I'm going to blend it in with my finger so it looks more of a stain. Okay and then on top of that I'm going to be putting a nude gloss just to highlight the center of the lips and to nude out the color a little bit. So I'm going to focus this right in the center. Okay so here's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you try it out. Please leave me any comments down below and I'll see you guys later. Bye!